right, it is April 22nd. I'm about to teach the uh, body scope HR class. Run a little behind. All right, so I got my classes done. So I taught a 615 class, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, well, 515 to 615. Now it is 7.10 and I got to hit the road because I got to pick up Isaiah and the way this weekend is going to go, um, we got to be in Richmond, Virginia, 10.10 um, for his polygraph test, or at least 10 o'clock. His polygraph test is 10.10, then he'll start carving up and um, so in other words, he's going to kind of like eat some of what he wants, some carbs, some sodium, you know, to fill up the glycogen stores, in other words, get his muscles full because he's flat. Uh, maybe later on in this video, I'll kind of break down the difference between, you know, full and flat and a lot of the process. But right now, because I'm pressed for time, um, I just tell you the overall, um, you know, itinerary or what we're going to do. So, like I said, I'm leaving here, picking up him and his fiance at, from their house, hit the highway, uh, be in Richmond by 10 o'clock. Um, that's the plan. And uh, so he takes polygraph test at 10, 10, and then um, he's going to start carving up. So he might eat a couple of meals, drink probably a gallon, close to a gallon of water, cut his water at six, rest up. Tomorrow we're going to get up and um, well, we're going to check into the hotel at three. Tomorrow we get up, check out of the hotel, be at the venue by nine, probably by eight, 830 because the show starts at nine maybe eight o'clock um you do a show however long that take probably will end around 11 or 12. um we'll leave and then we'll get some good to eat maybe a little cake birthday cake because last sunday was his birthday and he couldn't have anything except what was on the you know what was ever part of the regimen and that was like burgers or or steak or something for his birthday so today he's going to celebrate his birthday well, tomorrow he's going to celebrate his birthday and have some goodies. Okay, let me hit the highway. All right, so we are at the hotel. And it's uh, 9.30. So we got here 10 minutes early. Actually, 40 minutes early. So we're going to check in and wait for the polygraph test. All right, so we're in Richmond. We're at Cracker Barrel. It's around, I don't know, 11 o'clock. And he's eating his first meal of the day, carving up. And really, it's like a cheat meal. Well, it is a cheat meal. But um, it's still part of the process. So let me show you what we got. Boom. We have pancakes. And I have pancakes. Sausage and eggs. And this is fiance Imani. <laughs> there they go right there. All right. Yep, yeah, so all right. Checked into the hotel. It's like what, four o'clock? We had to wait forever to check in the hotel room. So we're supposed to check in at three o'clock. We get here at like, well, it was jacked up anyway because his polygraph test was at 10 10. And we got here, I guess, quarter to 10. And then we had to wait for the polygraph test. And then once he took his polygraph test, then we had to kill time after that. Uh, we go to Kroger's three and, and a half hours. huh? Had to wait like three and a half hours. Yeah, three hours is killing time, walking around. Before chicken. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We did. We stop and ate. That's on the video. Be on the video too. Stop and ate at um, Cracker Barrel. Now that's this is carb up time. So now he's just eating his. First he had pancakes. Nah, I downed that thing already. Yeah, he's still hungry. Rice so, uh, cake. Rice, yeah, rice cakes. With peanut butter and honey. Yeah, yeah. So now, next stop is Carabas. Yeah, we, yeah, we're gonna go for Carabas. We're seeing the best results with the sodium and uh, the cheese from there. I usually get a good pump after I eat from there, so I'm gonna go for that. 
Okay. I'm going to take his word for it. All right, it is 6-12, and we got Carabas. Finally got our food. And I have a uh, uh, steak with broccoli, some fries, and uh, for his carb up is uh, spaghetti and meatballs. And Imani has, what is that, spaghetti and shrimp? Yeah, and scallops, and everything. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Yep, quarter turn to the right. All right, face the front. Front double bicep. Yep. All right, relax. Okay. Front back spread. Come in and push out. Yep. Yeah. Then remember, flex the floor up, you know, calves, quads. Yeah. And then. Calves kind of already out. They got some wood in them. Yeah. That'll be the car. Yep. That one in there crazy. See what's trying to eat. Side chest, side of, chest, side of your choice. And relax. See the hamstring they good? Yeah. Yeah. Little side tricep. Face the rear. Little back double bicep. And relax. Rear lat spread. Face the front. This one, you got a problem. This one coming in. Yeah. It's like a, a bend the knees, just a little bit of pull back on it. Bend the knees and pull back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the way you do it, you know, you bend the knees, you got them like right kind of flexing them. Down and I push out. Then flex. You come in. This one I gotta squeeze. This one I gotta do something. Uh -huh. So you got more mind and muscle connection on the right than you do on the left. Yeah, I always did since last time. <clears throat> and all right. So here's the thing: abdominals and thigh. Switch it up. 
Oh, of course, this one here. And relax. Okay, favorite most muscular. So it is Saturday morning, about 7.45, it is show day. <clears throat> um, we put on this tan last night, or put on another coat of tan last night. Touching and tan up the day, <clears throat> and um, going through some posing routines. You know, uh, just keep going through the posing routines over and over and over again. And that'll pump all the glycogen, like all the cheat meals, which is really just carbohydrates, you know, like the pancakes and um, spaghetti that he ate last night. Pump that into the muscles. And then today, um, he's going to be eating rice cakes with peanut butter, um, which is more carbs to pump to the muscles. So we're going to keep going through the pose routine over and over and over again um, until it's time to go. So I had to come to the car to get my charger because I forgot my charge in the car.
Oh, I love that pose. Woo! Yes! Woo! Look at that spread. back in my office and um, there's one thing I wanted to go over that when it comes to bodybuilding that I believe affects everyone and I think everyone should really get this understanding because there's a lot of confusion out there of like uh, different organizations um, performance enhancing drugs and things like that and it affects everyone when it comes to weight loss believe it or not here's the reason why um, just say a, a, a woman signs with me, a young lady or whatever. And, you know, I say, okay, I come on the workout program and we're going to do this, this, and this. And in many cases, I've had women say to me, and some men, when I hand dumbbells to them or we're getting ready to do a, a workout with, with resistance training, oh, I don't want to be a bodybuilder or I, I don't want to, you know, get bulky muscles like you know a lot of the bodybuilders and this is and that's a big misnomer uh, when it comes to women especially women the reason why I'm, I'm hammering home with women is because guys yeah yeah guys can put on muscle but not the type of muscle like like bodybuilders in the mainstream um magazines like muscle mag and all those you never get those type of muscles because for one you need performance enhancing drugs to get to that to, to get to that point and I'm explaining how all that works because bodybuilding is a subculture I've been a fan of bodybuilding since I was like eight nine years old and talk about in, in the 70s I've seen Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno and all those guys compete you know live on ESPN way back then so that's how long I've been a fan of bodybuilding and I've seen the evolution of bodybuilding over the years now, there's different type of organizations, and to really simplify it is there's two types of organizations, two types. You have the tested and the non-tested. Now, what I mean by the tested is um, they test for, for performance-enhancing drugs and, and diuretics. And, you know, the non-tested is they don't test for anything. You just show up, hey, if you want something, fine. If you're not, you know... That's a, that, in other words, that's your business. Ain't got nothing to do with them. So here's the organizations. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to try to make it brief as possible, um, not to drag this video on. So the here, the National Physique Committee, or NPC, some of you guys probably heard of that. Most people you have heard of probably compete is an NPC. Now, the NPC, the National Physique Committee, most, most people don't know it. Even the guys that compete in it don't even know it's a National Physique Committee. Only thing they know is NPC. This is a um, amateur level of IFBB. IFBB is the pro ranks, International Federation of Bodybuilding. So on the amateur level, these two right here, these two, let's connect these two, um, are non-tested shows. So in other words, they don't test performance enhancing drugs. Now, on the amateur level, you know, local shows or whatever, you might have quite a few people that's not on performance enhancing drugs, okay? But, and they, and they can win. But when you get to the national level, and so in other words, once you, once you win this show, say you win a amateur show, you go to a national show where you compete against other people in the nation for an IFBB Pro card. Now, once you get to this level here, well, you know, I, I'm going to just guarantee everyone's on something because if they ever drug tested this right here, the pros, um, no one will be on stage. I mean, and there's no knock against anyone that's that's on performance enhancing drugs. I'm friend, friends with plenty of people that... that so steroids, been on steroids, or still on steroids. 
And I worked out with people like that. You know, it, it's fine. You know, if that's their choice, I, I'm all about choice. If that's the what they want to do, then then God bless them. Now I work out with them. They sometimes they're a little bit stronger than me, or a lot stronger than me, or a little bit bigger than me, or a lot bigger than me. But I mean, you know, it's it's no big deal. I have my choice. They have their choices. So I, I'm friends with many of them. I just want to put that out there. This is not a knock against anyone that's 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 on performance enhancing drugs. And believe them, it's and believe me, it's a lot of them out there. Now this right here. Now this is this is right here. Cut this off. This is this is your uh, your non-tested shows. So anyone you know that's an NPC, they, they don't do they don't drug tests, they don't polygraph, none of that. IFBB, you better believe they're not drug testing because no one be on stage because these dudes are huge. I mean, they they can be up to two two forty, two fifty, two seventy with extremely low body fat, like five percent. Five, uh, seven percent, six percent, and that's totally impossible without performance enhancing drugs. And even the women, I mean, the shape that they come in, that you know, is on a whole nother level, and it's pretty much drugs, you know. Okay, so the natural organization. So here's the natural natural organization. You got the OCB. Now that's the one we I compete in, and my son just competed in um, this weekend. So that's the organization of competitive bodybuilders. That is your natural. So what he had to do, like I, um, just to give you an overview, um, we had to be there at the hotel. There's a certain room they rented out the hotel for the polygraph examiner and everyone scheduled their own time, their own block that they come in, only take, I don't know, maybe five minutes. You know, he hook you up, ask you, have you been on performance answer drugs in the past seven years? In other words, they go back seven years you have to be clean at least seven years before you can compete in the natural organization. So, you know, you say yay, nay, or whatever. And then they ask you, have you ever taken anything off the, um, on the um, banned su substance list? So on the website, there is a banned substance list that you're supposed to read. And you're not supposed to take any type of, um, you know, uh, substance that's on that, on that list. Um, so this is your amateurs here. OCB, um, Organization of Competitive Bodybuilders. And here's the other or natural organization. And this one right here, OCB, is pretty much on the West Coast, all up and down the West Coast. And in that, the North American Natural Bodybuilding Association, pretty much like Midwest and out that way. Now, I mean, I, I, I OCB can be out that way as well, but this is mostly in the Midwest. So... The, the NA, NBA, so North American, North American Natural Bodybuilding Association. These two are, or these three, let me go here. These three are natural, natural organizations. So these three, pretty much the same, uh, polygraph and a urinalysis when, or if you win that show and you win like pro, pro card or whatever, before you get that pro card. You got to do in your analysis. Um, so when you win these two, either or, you actually go to here, which is your pro ranks, International Fitness uh, uh, Professionals Association. IFPA is the is the pro ranks of these two. So IFBB is the pro ranks of the non-natural guys. IFPB, IFPA is the, the pro organization of the natural guys. And they're in, it's like night and day. The natural guys are a lot smaller. I mean, pretty much well conditioned, looks good. Well, look how you probably want to look in most cases. And these guys right here are monsters. And and they, and I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I am a fan of both. I'm a fan of here. I mean, going to an IFBB show is like going, it's going to a freak show. I mean, these guys are unbelievable, and girls are unbelievable, but it's just not something I want to do to my body. Now, guys, I hope I made that clear. So, like I say, um, you have your banned substance list on this organization's here. Um, you need the polygraph test, which was, which my uh, Isaiah took this weekend, and then winners have a urinalysis. So, to be a natural bodybuilder 
looks totally different than being a person that's on performance enhancing drugs. So don't think it. If you're not taking performance enhancing drugs, trust me, you're not going to look like those people that you don't want to look like per se. And if you want to look like those people, then you have to actually take that stuff that they're taking. And it's all a choice. It's up to you. Um, if you got any questions, you know, leave the comments, you know, anything like that. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you later.